One, two, ready, go. just some things to think about as you're doing this this was at 50 and the goal is 72 okay to be like a respectable uh, uh a respectable speed of course at 50 if you can do it like this i still have a lot of respect for you but i want you to get it up to 72 um which is is moving along pretty quick now you can also do i did one through eight one two three four six and eight Per bow, you could also do 12, uh, 24, right? And you could do 48 even. Um, so those are those are possibilities as well. But one through eight, those are that's the basic. You gotta get up to there. Okay, and then some things to think about. Um, I'm sure you saw I was closing my eyes. It really helps with intonation. I haven't practiced this in years. So it, it really helps me with intonation to close my eyes because then I can not focus on anything else and really focus on the pitches as I hear them in my head before I play them. So there were some pitches that weren't perfectly on, but it will help you with intonation. If you shut out, imagine you're blind, right? If you were blind, your other senses are increased. So um, if you close your eyes, uh, there's less input going into the mind and your ears will be able to pick up better um, your intonation. So um, as you get better and better at this, um, hearing the note before you play it is so helpful. I can't, rem I, I can't tell you how many times teachers told me this and it really does help. Um, another thing to think about is um, your bow, I call it the, the rainbow, right? Um, because as you're playing, I'll turn this way so you can see. So as you're playing the G string, you should be as close to your D as possible. Get a little closer here. So do you see I'm very close to the D? Right, so you don't have to change much okay and then as you play the d i have to go all the way from here which is close to the g i have to go all the way over here which is close to the a i'm still not even playing the a but do you see 
There's so much play in between the two. Here to here, right? There's lots of play. So as I'm playing the D string, I only have four notes. One, two, three, four. I only have four notes to get close to the A. So I can't be, you don't want to be like four different levels. One, two, three, four, like this. You want to be as close as you can, and then hit the D, and then in your da, 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 get as close to the A as you can over those four notes, right? And then as soon as you hit the A, see so I have very small amount that I have to change. Then I have quite a few notes here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven notes to get to the E string, okay? But by the time I get here, I need to be really close to my E, right? So I went all the way from here to here, right? That's quite a lot of bow. So, and then when I get to the E, I'm gonna stay as close to the A string the whole time. Because when I get down here, very small, right? It's efficiency. My, my little term for it is strategic laziness, right? You're thinking ahead so that it looks like you're being lazy. It looks like you're not doing much, but you're actually doing a lot. You're actually really thinking ahead and, and uh, being efficient. So, and then I have one, two, three, four, I have four notes to get over to the D string. So you see how I did that? I lift with my um, elbow, I lead with my elbow, and then I'm on the D string, I have another four notes, and I lead with my elbow to get to the G. And I stay right there close to the G. Okay, so that's rainbow. You have to think about that. So if I'm, if I'm playing, you can see it as I was playing, looking this way, but I'm gonna show you this way, okay? So. Well, that wasn't good. Do you see that? Oh, that's so fun, right? So you just have like a continual motion, continual motion, none of this boing, doink, 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 which is totally different than when you were learning twinkle, right? You were just trying not to hit the other string. But now I'm telling you, you don't only, only have, uh, sorry, you don't only have four levels. And then when you learn double stops, there's four, five, six, seven, seven levels, right? Now you have like almost infinite levels in between uh, all the strings. So um, that's another thing to be thinking about. Um, let's see, what else? Ah, the shifts, right? We're doing what's called Yoast shifting. This is an old school shifting. There were there are two main types that most violinists use as Yoast. So that's... You shift from the finger that you're on to the new position, and then you go to the finger you want. Okay, so this is, Yoast was the one, I guess, who came up with the exercise book for this, so we call it Yoast shift. And the other one is called the Heifetz shift. And it's the one that Heifetz used all the time. And he shift, he shifted with the finger he's going to. So like, like this, he's shifting with that finger up to the spot that he wants, okay? So it's a very, like, I don't know, romantic type shift. Uh, I love, love that shift. Um, okay, what else? So I'm using the Yoast. Right, that's the Yoast shift. Uh, and because I'm going to, I'm going from fifth position to first, and then I need this finger. And then I'm already set up. The one's still there. Now you heard the yo shifts if you were watching or if you were noticing carefully. Um, I did it on, uh, well, I did it on all of them. But you can hear it on uh, one, two, and three. Okay, so with three. Right? You can hear that. Now with four, I'm still doing it, but you don't hear it. So. Okay. 
Do you see how my two is still leading the shift, but it's it's up off the string, but then it just has to set it down. Okay, so that's Yosht, it's still a Yosht shift, but, um, uh, but it's a silent Yosht shift. So. Same thing here. And then on the way down, I'm leading the charge with my first finger, but I'm bringing my pinky in before you hear it. So you don't hear that, I bring the pinky in like that. Okay. Okay, let's see what else can I tell you. Uh, I feel like there was another thing I wanted to say. Oh, here's another thing. When you're shifting, it's better to, oh, I can't stress this enough. If you shift early and slow, okay? If you play the note for its full length, then it's going to sound like you're panicked, okay? So if you're going like this, that sounds like you're panicked. But if you do like that, I cut the note a little bit short. I cut it a little bit short because the initial attack of a note is what the human ear picks up more than the end of the note. So if you can cut the note just a little bit short and use that as time to get you to the next place, um, you're gonna sound smooth and cool as a cucumber, right? So. Versus like this. Don't do this. Shift early and slow, okay? Um, okay, that's, that's very important. What else? That's it for now. Have fun!